What's up guys, today I'm going to be reacting to an Andrew Tate and George Janko interview. So let's get into it. Alright, so guys, I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, so here, Andrew and George are having like a small debate about pride, I guess. So, I just wanted, I just wanted to watch this part. This part. You know, but I think there's a mistake that a lot of people make with that. A lot of people are obsessed with the idea of happiness. And especially as a man, I think that happiness can actually be a very destructive motivator. Happiness should not be and a motivator. It should be purpose. That should be a motivator. God. Not your own happiness. When men sit and say, I want to be happy, I want to feel happy. To feel happy, a lot of the time you're looking for temporary hedonism. To be happy, you want to get drunk or take drugs or do something stupid temporarily, and it's very short-lived. I think you should instead be looking as a man to say, I want to feel proud. Not if you pride. choose pride does a lot of bad things. It always ends up bad. It's just uh, how I've seen it in my life, you know, whenever you feel ego, pride, whenever you feel proud of yourself, it, it, you just get, you, it's not good. You get, when, whenever you feel like, oh, I'm the shit, I'm the, I'm the man. It always ends up bad. You need to stay humble. You need to realize that God is the one who's responsible for all the good in your life. And you need to realize that you're nothing. I mean, yeah. Pride over happiness. You're going to make decisions that you're proud of and that people around you are proud of. And it's going to be better, better for yourself and better for society and better for everyone who loves you, everyone you care about. I if think you that's the first thing you said that I disagree with. You disagree? Completely. I think the best thing a man can do is wake up and say, what can I do that's going to make me proud of myself and other people are proud of me? Let's get into our debate. Let's do it. Okay. I believe that pride will always be the downfall of you. In fact, it, God calls it an abomination. If you stand before God and you search for anything in your heart and you take pride in it, you're saying that you did it, not God. That is my argument against that. One. Two, happiness could be today. It's all perspective. Yeah. If you look at a tree, you could look at it and be like, oh, me and my dad used to pick apples from that tree. Or his father hung himself in that tree. Yeah. It's the perspective. So anything could be changed in a perspective. So if you ask from God's perspective, and you, God used to walk into the room and say, shalom, peace yeah. be upon you. Yeah. So I believe you could enter peace. I believe that you could only find peace when you welcome God into your life. Now, I might sound like a crazy nutcase that's a religious man, yeah. but I truly I truly believe in all of my heart that money will never give you peace. Yep. I believe love will give you peace. Love comes from God and the people that are around you. Your mother gives you peace. Yep. Your father gives you peace. Yep. You can't buy that. Yep. And if you ask God for five things, only five things, Andrew, your Bugatti wouldn't be there. Absolutely. But your brother would. Of course. So you come into the world with peace yep. and love. So that's but you don't argument. think pride is one of the biggest motivators of masculine excellence? You don't think no, that... No, because once you achieve it, you want more. And that's yeah, where it of gets Of course, dangerous. but you do not think Mayweather... Pride is not... Yeah, it helps you achieve things, but you're just going to keep wanting more and more. Like, you're going to want your e ego, your ego's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and that's going to be your motivator, and that's just going to end up bad. You're not going to, there's, like, then what's the point of achieving it if it's just going to have a bad result? Yeah, you can, yeah, it, it can help you achieve certain things, but in the end, it's going to work out badly if that was your motivator to achieve that, you know? Your motivator should, some, should be something bigger than your own self. Something that doesn't just make you feel good. It should be something that you're doing for, for God, not for yourself. Why did he want to be proud of himself by being Why everyone? Would you you don't think Mike Hill, okay, so you can Michael, have Michael money Angelo. and then just pick on YouTubers and box them? Of course. Michael, my, I, I'm not... I, I'm not insulting me, whether good or bad. But let's well, actually, say, I might cut that because it might jump me. So, <laughs> Michelangelo. Okay. He cut his ear off. Okay. Artists, Da Vinci. <laughs> what I'm saying is some of the most beautiful works of art, some of the most gorgeous cathedrals, some of the most beautiful churches you will ever lay your eyes on were done because a man felt proud of his work. Feeling pride, pride in but yourself. But what happened to that man? It, he didn't necessarily have to feel pride in it. It could just be like happiness. Like happiness is different from happiness in it. Like, you know. The happiness he's talking about, like happiness shouldn't be your main motivator. I agree with that, but neither should pride, because they both, if you're just chasing what makes you happy, it's usually something, it, you're going to end up with no purpose, you're going to be ch chasing dopamine. Um, um, yeah, so that's, that's not a good motivator, but neither is pride, because then you're going to be chasing, when you're chasing pride, you're going to keep trying to make yourself feel proud ego you're gonna make people around you you're, you're gonna want to look good you're trying to glorify yourself something you shouldn't be doing uh yeah 
proud. Of course, but being pride, pride. So you're looking at the art, and you're trying. That's pride. You want everybody to take pride into you. But guess what, Andrew? Right now, if you died, regardless of all the work you've done, yep. regardless of all of everything that you put in, I'm a better man. Reed's a better man. Davidge is a better man. Yep. I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. Bailey. Bailey's a better man. All these guys are a better man for two, three generations. But when yep. you die, you have the same grave of a man that you hate. Because time moves on. Of course. Everything collects moth yeah. and rust. Yeah. So what's the point? You don't think God can give you pride in yourself for doing the right things? I think that you could find joy in it. But again, everything has its time. So you take pride in your art. But at one point, all those artists became crazy, bro. So what's the fucking worth of okay, it? Okay, I understand that. So we can look at a diff- bunch of different ways. But you just talked about a man looking in the mirror and being proud of his body to motivate himself. That's pride. Absolutely. Pride to an extent. Right? Pride to an extent. But if it's your motivator, that's the problem. It, Everybody needs a from. certain type of emotion. You need yeah. fear, but you're not going to live fear. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's good. I, you watched some, some content. I think Andrew made some good points. He was wrong on some things. Um, there were some things he said I, I agree, some things I disagree. I think George did a good job uh, expressing his opinion, showing him. George did a good job showing him from the biblical perspective what his opinions are, and where Andrew is wrong. Uh, yeah, so, I've been following George now, too, a lot. You know, he's been, he's really blown up. He's done a great job with his podcast and whatnot, so I'm happy for him. Uh, and yeah, Andrew Tate, uh, I like Andrew Tate as well, but he has some, I think he has some problems in his thinking. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching this. See you.